Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm gonna take you through today's strength workout. You will need some dumbbells to get through today and of course have a nice open space. If you do have a mat for comfort, feel free to grab that and use that for some of the exercises where we're getting down to the floor. Once you're set up, press play, join me for the warm up. Okay, we'll start by rotating our wrists and just switch directions every few seconds. All right, big arm circles forward, not going too fast. Today we're gonna do nine exercises and we're gonna do two sets of each. So just classic like a set and then we'll take a little rest break, do a second set, move on to the next exercise. And then I'll give you a nice short stretch to finish up the workout, okay? All right, switching directions, arm circles, nice and big, going backwards now. All right, perfect. Let's go side to side. You'll notice my, the heel on my back foot comes up just so there's no stress on the low back. I like to let my arms go. You can keep them bent and engaged if you want. Whatever feels good. Just twisting. All right, perfect. This one I want you to hinge at the hip. So soft knees, hinge at the hip and then reach up nice and tall. You might be able to get to the floor if you're really flexible, but you don't have to. So it's not a squat, but we're instead tipping at the hip. Doing a few more here. Let's do one more. Nice, okay, this time we will squat. So just body weight squat here. Coming down nice and deep. I'll show it from the sides. I like to initiate by my hips coming back and not letting my knees come forward at the start of the movement, okay? If it feels more comfortable to you, you can point your toes out a little bit. There we go. Okay, a few more of these. Go at your own pace. Doesn't have to be super fast. Just warming up the big muscles of the body, getting the heart ready. Preparing for our work. Okay, and last but not least, let's get our heart rate up a little bit. You can step jack or full jumping jack. We'll do 15 more seconds. And then I'm gonna show you our first exercise for the day, okay? Good. Almost there. All right, stop. All right, first exercise is lunges. You can use weights if you want, if you're familiar with them. If you're not, just try it with your body weight to start. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna do reverse lunges and we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna step back, come down, back together. And then we'll do the opposite side, okay? So grab your dumbbells if you're ready. 40 seconds, it goes now. I'll show first round without dumbbells, but if you are, Using dumbbells, just hold them at your sides. Knee, back knee doesn't have to touch the ground, but you can come nice and close. If you find that too hard, you can go a little shallower until you feel comfortable with the movement, okay? There you go. Nice steady pace. I don't want you rushing. 10 seconds. Come on. All right, and rest. So 15 second break. If that was way too easy, grab some weights to make it a little more challenging this time. I'll grab some weights. Or if it was too hard, go a little lighter or no weights this time. Okay, second set of lunges. Here we go. Nice and controlled. You'll notice that the pressure is about even between the front leg and the back leg. They're both helping the movement out. So it's okay to really push off with that back leg. Final set of lunges. Sounds good, right? Lunges are also really good for balance. You might be wobbling a little bit and that's okay. Okay, five seconds, get in the work you can. 
Perfect. Next, we're gonna move to push-ups. Feel free to use a mat if you like. And don't worry if you're not good at push-ups, I'll show you lots of variations. Your first option is to have your knees under your hips, hands wider than shoulders, and let's get to work for 40 seconds. And just coming down like this, I call this like a prayer position push-up. That's too easy, you can come to your knees. And if that's still too easy, you can do it from your toes. Okay, pick the option that works for you, or you can move with lots of control and do full range of motion. All right, 10 seconds. Strong to the end. Almost there, come on, come on. Perfect, okay, 15 second break. On the second set, now that you know what's coming, you could always start on your toes and do a few if you can, then drop to your knees or drop to that prayer option. Whatever's gonna work for you, okay? Just make sure you can maintain form. Let's go, 40 seconds, last set. One thing I'll show you, elbows aren't up, they're tucked more to 45. All right, give me your best push-ups. I'll show this set for my knees. Nice and slow down, and then pushing to the top. Probably one of the hardest moves today, I know. Come on, come on. You can do this. Like I said, you can always drop to an easier option. Try to keep, keep you know, stay in movement, stay moving. Keep, keep getting those reps in. One more. All right. Done with push-ups. Next up is my favorite, bent rows. We'll need those dumbbells. If you're unsure, just grab light ones for the first set until you get a feel for it. All right, shoulders are down and back, tip of the hip, pulling towards that belly button. So you almost notice it's like you're pulling up and back, okay? Draw your belly button in so your spine is protected. No rounding here, so you don't want anything like this. Chest is proud, nice arch in the low back, and rowing, okay? If you ever need to take a break, just stand up for a second, shake it out, and then reset and finish the set with us, okay? Almost there. All right, 15 second rest. So, same as I said before, if that was too hard, Drop down and wait. If it was too easy, grab the heavier weights you have at home. All right, final set of rows right here. Let's get it. So this is working out our back and also our biceps. And then of course, our core or abdominals are also supporting as are our legs. So a lot of muscle activity here. So this is a good one. Fifteen seconds. Come on, come on. Maintain form. Coming all the way up. No jerking like this. No using momentum. Keep the form clean. Perfect. All right. Back down to the mat. You ready for some core work? We're gonna do some planks. I'm gonna show you options, so don't worry. Your first option will be on forearms and knees like this. We're gonna do the 40 second hold. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you can come up on your toes. If you need a bit more than that, you can come up into what's called a high plank. So this will challenge your upper body a little bit. That's still too easy. You can alternate taking a leg away. Okay. Pick the option that's right for you. You can always pick one of those harder options, you know, for the first half of the hold and then drop to something easier. Almost there. All right, rest. Planks is so important. Our ability to brace our spine. Okay, make sure those hips aren't too high, aren't too low. I'll show that again here when we get back into our second set. All right, here we go. So I'm not up like this but I'm also not sagging down. Nice straight line ankle through my head. 
Again, you can come to your knees if needed. And your forearms. Forearms is nice, it takes a little bit of the pressure off the wrist. Still getting loads of abdominal activation too. Hang in there, it might be shaking, that's totally okay. Final set of planks, no tricks, I promise. Final few seconds. Yay! Okay. Next up, we're gonna do something for our legs and a little bit of our core. We're gonna do a front squat. So you can grab one dumbbell or you can grab two up front and then squatting, okay? I'll show it with two to start. Here we go. If you wanna do it just with one, you can. It would look like this. And you're gonna have a pin right to your chest and then squat down, okay? Nice and deep. And start by bringing those hips down and back. Halfway through this interval. Don't rush. There you go. Breathing heavy, I'm sure. Big, big movement. And rest. Awesome. Set the weight down, take a breather. Again, same with before. If it's too easy, add some weight. Too hard, get rid of the weight. All right, you got one more set in you? Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna show both this time, right up front. Let's go. There you go. Fully extend all the way up and then back down as far as your flexibility will allow you. Nice and controlled pace, not rushed. 15 seconds. Almost there, you got it. Woo, all right. Breathe. Next up is bicep curls. So get in the front of the arms. We'll let your heart rate come down a little bit from those squats that I know has pulled it up. Let's grab those dumbbells. I like to stagger my stance so I have good balance. And then I'm curling. You'll notice my elbows stay in position. So I only come up this far because that's as far as I can bend. I don't rotate up, okay? So just from here to here. No momentum from my upper body, so I'm not rocking and I'm not dropping the weight. Make sure the way down is controlled. That's where tons of the benefit are. I'd rather see you get less reps, but have them controlled than see you just slamming through a bunch of momentum-based reps. Woo, there we go. All right, set them down just so it lets your grip relax for a couple seconds. We'll do one more set. If you were just burning and couldn't do even more, maybe go with a lighter set on this one, okay? That's what I'm gonna be doing. Here we go, final set of curls. We're doing the front of the arms now, but don't worry, we're gonna do the back of the arms as well. A little later in the workout. Woo, probably feeling a little bit of a burn in the front of the arms. That that's means you're doing good work. So stick with me. <laughs> Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, almost there. Come on, finish, don't stop. You can do this. <sighs> Perfect. Okay, next exercise I'm gonna show you, you could do without a weight, or you can have weights if you want. We're gonna do a floor to ceiling, very similar to the movement we did in the warm up, but we're gonna squat a little bit. So we're gonna squat down and then pop over top. You ready? Okay, let's go. I'll show you with dumbbells. So I'm gonna to touch the floor and then reach overhead. Now you might not be flexible enough to get to the floor. Just go as far as you can without rounding your spine, okay? So keep good posture and then work really hard. Get those dumbbells right over top of your head. So this one's gonna push the heart rate up and we're working a ton of muscles in our body. So good. Come on.
Nice work. Little break. I think we can go a little heavier. How hard were you trying? Seven or eight out of 10? If so, perfect. It's right where we want you. We want it to be difficult, but we don't want it to be all out. Final set, floor to ceiling. Here we go. I'll show you from the side again, just to make sure you see the form I'm using. We want good posture at all times. Come on. This is the last hard exercise in the workout. I promise you, it gets easier from here. Final few seconds. Good work. Okay. Remember I said we do the back of the arms? We're gonna do that now. We're gonna take those two lighter dumbbells and just kick them back. You ready? Join me, here we go. Still breathing hard from those floor to ceilings. You can stand with a staggered stance or feet together, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then just totally straighten your arm out and then come back down. Try not to move at the shoulder, just at the elbow. So we don't wanna be like kicking them out, right? Just bending at the elbow with a little added weight, developing the back of the arm. Okay, rest. One more set and then we're into our last exercise which is gonna be an ab bicycle, okay? You with me? All right, let's finish this up. Begin. Last time using the dumbbells today. Almost there, a few more reps, hang on. If you have to take a couple second break, that's okay. Then come back and join us. If you can keep repping out, finish. Just a couple seconds left now. Perfect. All right, get that mat, come to the floor. Ab bicycles, our final exercise, okay? So lying on your back, let's go. So you wanna focus on getting your shoulder towards the opposite hip. Hands are near your head. Don't worry about where your elbow goes, worry about your shoulder. So there's no worry in pointing the elbow. And don't go fast, go slow. So you're asking a lot of control, okay? Fifteen seconds. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing. Just relax. Okay, last set of the whole workout. Are you with me? Let's try to stay in motion the whole time. If you found that really hard, you can just do the upper body, okay? Or you can just do the legs if you need it to be a little easier. Let's go, let's finish it up. So it could be legs only, upper body only, or both. Oh, that's burning a little bit. <laughs> yep. It's all easy after this, so don't hold back. 20 seconds. You got this. Almost there. Final few reps. Come on, come on. Ooh. All right, just release for a second. Stretch arms way overhead. Getting your feet and your hands as far apart as you can. Nice full stretch. Amazing. Let's bring one leg in.
All right, another leg now, same stretch. Okay, breathing nice and deep now, begin that healing process. Want you to just roll to your right side and just using your hands, support yourself. Come up into a kneeling position. I want you to tuck your toes underneath so you're stretching your feet out a little bit. Clasp your hands behind your back and just try to get your hands away from your hips. So we're opening up these shoulders. If you play lots of video games or at the desk at school a lot, this will help correct your posture, make you feel, gall, feel tall and uh, feel proud and help your posture for sure. All right, let's do a child pose one. So our uh, knees are nice and wide, our big toes are together and just sit your hips back. All right, slowly coming out of that, let's bring our right leg forward. And I just want us to sink into that a bit. We're just stretching that hip out. Continue to breathe nice and deep. You've got this. Switching sides. All right, slowly now come up to a standing position. I want you to open up at the chest. Like you're about to give the world's biggest hug to somebody. Hands are coming as far apart as they can. All right, feet nice and wide. Let's just tip at the hip once. You can support with your hands on your thighs and your, your knees can be soft. Or if you want, you can just let it all go and hang there for a few seconds. This will stretch everything along the back of the legs, the low back. Releasing any tension. All right, soften the knees, pushing off the thighs, coming to standing. One last movement, I just want you to do a gentle back bend. So reaching up tall and then a little bit behind you, feeling a nice stretch through your abdominals. All right, you did it. Thank you for joining me for today's strength class. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video.